me tell you a story of how we've designed products. Huh? I've designed simple products. They are cookies. They are good day chocolate chip and they are marigold at two ends of the spectrum. Do you think they are designed or they just serendipitously happen? No, everything is designed. So how do you think I wrote a brief for good day chocolate chip cookie? Imagine it, it's not difficult. And that's what you have to do for your products. You have to write a brief that this is my product or this is my solution and this is the characteristics of it. And why are these the characteristics of it? Because you are all using words. You used a word called niche when you meant differentiation. Niche and differentiation mean very different things. Differentiation means what? Vis-a-vis -vis something else. You cannot be differentiated without something else in the play. So you said we have to figure out what are the differentiation vis-a-vis -vis some other project that some other IIT team is doing. I don't care. I want to know what is available in published, in published literature. Just because it is available in the US, will you stop working on the idea in India? Not at all. We cannot afford a dollar. In fact, there is a huge market in India of indigenizing medical devices. Medical devices are very expensive in India. Firstly, they are made abroad. And secondly, we apply a large uh, import duty on it. Yeah. So, you have to understand what is your competition offering. If there is no competition, is that a good thing or a bad thing? So, for me, if none of your ideas have an existing competitor, it's a great thing. The, if you have an existing competitor, you can easily write a brief. For example, let's do um, Ola Electric and Aether uh, bi uh, bikes, scooters, bikes, whatever. Are you all familiar with both of them? Anybody here who doesn't know? Can one of you come here and be Ola and one of you come here and be Aether? Which came to market first? Aether is right. Huh? So, uh, you are Aether? Okay, he's Aether. Your Ola. Huh? So, uh, do a one minute pitch of your uh, scooters. Everybody here is a potential Ola uh, Ether customer? Could be. Could be. Potential, na? Potential. Ah, everybody is potential customer. Since uh, considering it to electric scooters can be dangerous, uh, ours is, uh, our company was the only one who did two years of beta testing so that your rights will be safe with us. Uh, like Ola, we started doing beta testing after selling it. The first mover doesn't have to compete. So, uh, you are saying Ether and you are saying safety. But you did not start with primary. That's why I've left one row empty for you. Since future is moving towards electricity and cost of uh, fuels are rising, uh, electricity, uh, electric uh, scooters and electric scooters are the future. Okay. So, he, you're saying electric. Yes. And what are you selling? What does electric do for do for anybody? Uh, save money. Save money for whom? Uh, uh, that's all you stopped at. Okay. Okay, no price. How do they buy? They don't know the price. Whatever, take a guess. Doesn't matter. I'll correct you if you're wrong. One lakh something. Okay, one lakh sixty. I think is a little high, but take care. What is he missing about competition? Remember, Ola is not yet in market. What about Scooty? What about Activa? The current customer sitting here is buying Activa. So why is it better than Activa? Ha, we'll give Ola a chance. Come now, please remember. You came how many years later? Yes. Two years later. Ether has already been in the market. Huh? So, how do you pitch Ola to everybody here is a customer? Now everyone wants to win. I don't, need to win. I don't know that yet, but that's a good question. That's a good question. He is asking a fundamental question. Do I have to sell electric bike or do I have to sell a better electric bike? Is that the question? Wonderful question. Like full marks for that question. I think at the stage of which the Indian uh, market is, you still have to sell electric bikes. If I think in two years of Ether, you think the entire country of, you know, 1.4 billion people, or forget 1.4 billion people, at least some 200 million people can buy. Do they all know electric? I don't think so. So, you are looking to buy a vehicle. Car, no. There is too much traffic in Indian cities. So, a two-wheeler looks like a best bet. Should you buy um, an IC vehicle or an electric I see vehicle is going to um, cut through your wallet, the petrol cost is probably going to increase as we go along. Uh, yeah, and we do have a few options in the market, but at what price range do they start? 160, 140 at the least. What if you can get a scooter for less than a lakh or one lakh? A scooter which gives you phone like capabilities, which gives you entertainment and uh, uh, navigation, 
teaches bilingual uh, and with very good uh, Dutch aesthetics. Okay. So when you are a customer, you realize how easy it is to write this. Did you understand that I could have gone more? In fact, I missed many. You said Dutch aesthetics, you said navigation. Instead of navigation, I would actually have sold the fact that it is a digital product. Uska upgrade hota rehta hai. It's like a software upgrade, like your phones get software upgraded all the time. Can you imagine that you will have better features tomorrow on your scooter than you had today? That is the difference of an electric vehicle versus in addition to the value that you are saying. So, it, this is actually called a comparative analysis. Huh? And it was very easy because I picked two brands that all of you have read about in recent time. Had I tried doing Apple and Samsung, what would have happened? Chaos would have happened in this room. When your customers feel passionately about you, you have arrived in life. So how does your Parkinson's, this, uh, not uh, Parkinson's person's caregiver, because that Parkinson's person may not be the person who, you can sit down, huh? that Parkinson's person may not be the person who is giving you this feedback. But when that person sends an um, email on your customer care saying your device is the only reason I can go to work and leave my 85 year old Parkinson mom at home and feel secure, that's it. You don't need revenue at that point. I mean you would like revenue but that is what we all create solutions for. That's what we all create brands or products for. Huh? So, to first go into solution design, I need a problem statement. You cannot look into solution and change problem. That's the wrong way of doing things. You can go to customers. You can look at competitors. You can talk to customers and change problem. But you can't say, I have designed it, I will change problem. That also happens. That's called a pivot. That's called a, in startup language, that's called a pivot. Huh? But no, you should not go to solution design without having at least two things. You have problem statement and then you need some customer feedback, which is why you are doing survey and you need some competitor analysis, which you can do on your desk. You may not be able to do on your desk because there is not enough research data available. Life is like that. But without these two, I can't design chocolate chip cookie. I can design good day chocolate chip cookie by having what in my mind? The answer is, probably, by the way, hide and seek is a very good answer. I stopped you because that was not the answer we were doing at that point of time. But there is there's reason to believe that hide and seek is better than Oreo. So if we had to compare, we did Oreo. Why did we do Oreo? Because it is more global than hide and seek was. And at that point of time, hide and seek was not as large as it was today. Company that wants to be the market leader decides how to grow the market. It can't say in India, the market is like this. If it is, then it is your fault. Because you are the 100 year old company in India. If in India the market is like this, you have done That is what it means. Huh? So, but I was not going into companies. I was trying to say, if you had to design a good biscuit, you have to look at the best biscuit, right? So, hide and seek and Oreo. Then you need this, who are you targeting customer segment? Do you know who is your customer segment? Okay, I will uh, uh, agree when I see. Huh? Okay, I believe in evidence. And the third is this. This is the pitch deck slides I gave you. Before you start designing your solution, you have to decide who your customers are and you have to decide who do you have to be better than. Who has to lose for you to win? Sometimes markets are so large that even if that other person loses, no problem. Bahut market hai. So you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I'm killing somebody. It doesn't matter. There's enough market. So you can do it that way. But you need to know who are you going to be better than. How do you find out competition? Hide and seek was actually the largest selling chocolate chip cookie in India when Britannia was trying to do whatever they were trying to do. Huh? But Britannia said maybe globally the taste is better. Don't know. Huh? So we use both. But how did we find out? We went and asked our customers. Absolutely. We could stand here and do Ola and Ether only because everybody here is an Ola and Ether customer. Potential customer. I could have done mobile phones. I could have done backpacks. I could have done fashion or shoes or apps, but I'm very bad at apps. So I, it, apps also, it's the same thing. Some of you are on Dream 11. Some of you are on MPL. Huh? MPL. I, I, you should, you should be able to do it for, I could do this, but I don't even know what questions to ask you. 
Yeah. Here I knew what questions to ask you. Right? So you are saying you don't know who's your you don't know Z category competition, but at least your top two, three you know. Okay, good for you. But do you know what features you offer that others don't? Not yet. Good. Thank you for that answer. You can't retrofit a problem to a solution you have. You have to design a solution for a problem that the customer faces. Do you understand the difference? Huh? So use the word, uh, say learner. What is happening with the learner? What are the outcomes the learner is not getting? Because he or she doesn't have this. The problem statement has three things. Who is, what is it? Who is it for? Why is it invaluable? I, so problem is limited curriculum integration for robotics. ये तो अपने लिए आपने लिखा है कि मेरे पास robotics है तो मेरे को I mean to a jaundiced eye everything is yellow. This is that. In a larger city in Bombay in a day you'll travel 80 kilometers. In uh, Kanpur it's unlikely that you will travel 80 kilometers. Is that a fair assumption? Is that a fair assumption? In Bangalore, you'll be stuck in traffic for 80 kilometers. But so my I did not use the price dimension. I use the dimension of techie guys want more techie features. I mean, for example, I, I was driving in my friend's Tesla in um, Seattle, and that day's update was, and it's completely laugh worthy, was um, was a fart. Was uh, yeah, so so Every time her daughter called, she picked that button and I mean, and I was like, that seemed like the fun thing for her to do that day. But that was update of the day. And I was like, Tesla is mad. So she was like, I get fun things like that. Every day I get a new ringtone. I'm navigating what is the sound it makes every day. So depends. And she's been driving her car for three years. So she's not looking for now for safety or mileage. But her car is delighting her every day, even now. After the safety and the mileage and the comfort, um, uh, what etheric or whatever someone said, after three, it's not even three, she was having it for some four or five years. But that is what digital products do, which physical products cannot do. Huh? But I was only using two dimensions. I was using a dimension called, uh, I forgot the word, techie. And the second one, which is how much do you drive in a day? And therefore, it's not cost per um, kilometer. It was kitna deti hai. Malab, 150 kilometer tak I don't need a charging point or 80 kilometer tak I don't need a charging point. This is the problem we want to solve. Our customer segments are 6 to 8 students living in Bangalore, Bombay, Chennai, Hyderabad, wherever. And therefore, these are the current competitors. You can't randomly do. Your competitor has to be real. And therefore, that IIT Bombay startup is not a competitor yet. Yet. Huh? This is when people start designing solutions without understanding the problem. We can introduce you to that IIT Bombay startup and maybe you should collaborate or whatever. But at this point, that is not what you are doing. At this point, are you able to write these features? For example, in my chocolate chip cookie, what is a feature? A taste is a, ha, okay, taste is a very large feature. Chocolate chips, number of chocolate chips that you can see that we used to count. In good day, I've run factories to make sure the kaju is shown on the top. Andar ghuse na ghuse mujhe nahi farak padta. Upar me dikhna chahiye. That is a feature. In Ather, we didn't do well, but we can do features. We can do features. Oh, and we did okay. I mean, I don't say we didn't do. We didn't do badly. We certainly didn't do badly. But if you can't list the features, how will you design your solution? It is a. It is what you were saying. Statement of intent. I'll stand like. Whatever, who is that? Simba's dad. But I'll stand from the top of the mountain and say, this is what I want to do. Nobody is challenging me on this part. On this uh, slide, no challenge. This next slide, full challenge. So they want to empower future innovators, which is good, but uh, thoda vague. No, but it's okay. This one is fine. You can write whatever you want. The second one is, what are the problems you are trying to solve? The third is... Who's your target customer? This I actually very nice looking slide, but it means nothing. All you're trying to say is how large is this opportunity? That's okay. And the, so the third slide is not here, which is who's your customer? And there's a segment and there's a pen picture. I'll now go back to my deck. One line description of idea. Huh? Problem opportunity. If this is not clear, the rest doesn't matter. 
nothing matters if the problem is not clear. I did market size because competitor, I'm sorry, investors like to do market size, but I believe in customers more. Tell us who your potential customers are, define them, demographics. I don't know if I did demographics with you in class, but demographics is income, age, gender, geography, etc. Psychographic is uh, when I said tech savvy likes Ether or Ola, and all of you said Ola. So, tech savvy is a psychographic parameter. Health seeker is a psychographic parameter. 18 year old boys, men living in Bombay can be health savvy or health seeking or clearly not health seeking. Same demographic, same demographic can be sports lovers or I mean sports people or sports lovers. Some of them think that mere se nahi hoga, but I enjoy jo, um, um, joke winning his 23rd whatever grand slam. So that is a psychographic parameter and um, you can describe the person if you like to, but that's not important. This is important. And then we asked, we are, most people want to know why are you saying so? You don't have the time for it. So I'm going to pass customer discovery other than your survey. Then you are designing a value proposition. So all we are asking for is what is the pain that a customer has and how are you going to relieve that pain? In some, it is more clear than the other. Very easy in the, the solution in Parkinson will be very difficult to design, but what the solution needs to be is relatively clearer. Yours is a technology challenge on how will you deliver it. I think, I don't know the answer, but at least you know by talking to two people who are caregivers to Parkinson, you may not even need to go to anybody. There must be enough literature on literature or whatever you call. If you write Parkinson's, uh, disease issues faced by caregivers. I am sure there will be like kilos of stuff that will come. You don't have to do it. Chat GPT can do it for you. But we don't know whether. So a lot of this is available. Our problem is never two. When you start by saying our problem is two, I know what will come out of there later is solution. Our solution is two. Our problem is not never the word two cannot come in front of a problem. When you take a B2C idea, You'll never have money. The moment you convert a B2C idea into a um, B2B, which is a in between. So if you ta target schools, you need far less money. If you're targeting individual students, you're going to be on YouTube. You know how much money YouTube needs. You need TikTok money if you're going global. You don't have that money. So it's very easy to say that my customer is the end user. Most difficult person to target. You are giving me ki uh, in uh, pesticide, in my farm of whatever acres, it takes so much time and I can do it faster, sure, but what is the need? Like I keep telling this example, you can keep developing a 200 kilometer an hour car, but you can go to roads in 200 kilometer. So what do you do to develop a 200 kilometer? We can't go to 40, we can't go to 30, we can't go to 30. So I am not sure. Whether the problem you are solving is the right problem. So your solution slide looks like this. A solution slide is features basically. A solution slide is features. And you have to mark out which of them are relevant, which of them is differentiated. Huh? Classic, I give you FMCG example because that's where I came from. Close up. So close up is uh, what is the benefit? Not shining, breath, breath. Um, Smells good. But can you have a toothpaste that smells good but teeth stay yellow? No. no. Huh? So, the teeth staying white is what is called relevance. It's a feature which is relevant to most consumers. Smelling good is for, is for those people who are at that time they took young people and kissing as the root for that. To whom smelling fresh is the most important. But you can't sell a toothpaste which smells good but doesn't do basic functionality. So you have features which are relevant and you have features which are differentiated. Is anybody not clear on that? So that is the product design. That is your solution. Now I will stay. So tell us your solution. You can use whatever method. I, I think all you have to do is show features. It's not this uh, thing doesn't work. But to show your core features. Product or solution design means tell us what your product will do. Don't write stories about it. Tell us the features. The best way of showing features is by showing this. 
this was the pain the customer has this is the feature that will take care of the pain uber biggest pain in my life was i never knew where i would get a car so it told me how long it takes to get a car to me that's the most important it was a pain it is not a bonus it was a pain i'd be standing outside my house waiting for autos to keep passing and that was the only way there were no there were no taxis bangalore didn't have taxis the only taxis came up when the uber and ola came up so that solved a pain problem i don't know if i've told you this story i like one feature of uber which allows me to um, send the location to husband or whoever that is pain or gain for me it is pain for me it's a pain it's a fear yeah but for many of you that is just a nice thing so that your friend doesn't keep calling and say eta where are you yaar tu kidhar hai bata like maine abhi bata diya you have my uh, google point stop asking me so for some people it can be a gain for some people it can be a pain but you have to do that all of this without a customer segment irrelevant so unless you know your problem unless you know your customer segment and unless you know competitor analysis you cannot design solution problem always has to be written from a customer or user point of view first point customer segment can never be all only mukesh ambani has the money to serve all customers the rest of us don't have the money to serve all customers right even tata and birla don't have that which is why he does jio and i don't know if you know bi which is tata plus birla combined cannot match cannot match okay so anybody writing everybody is customer segment if i were here as jury i would send you back ha huh? so who is your customer segment why do they need this solution who is the bulls eye customer segment hmm? the third is what does your competitor not offer so he is giving you an entry he is giving you an entry ola is getting an entry because ether is expensive or ether is more techy i don't know i heard some answers around the room or the simple reason can be that electric vehicles is a large market because we are all taking share not from each other we are all taking share from ic uh, vehicles yeah so that is possibly the reason okay i'm done thank you <laughs>